So you have received a water bill, and it's not exactly what you expected. Ever wonder how your water bill is calculated? Every time you turn on your bathroom faucet, dishwasher, washing machine, shower, fill your swimming pool, or flush your toilet, the amount of water you use is accurately measured by your water meter. Did you know that sometimes a small water leak in your house can cause your water bill to increase dramatically? Let's check to see if you have a water leak. First, let's find your water meter. Water meters are typically located in the basement of your home, along the front wall, near the floor. Sometimes they might be hidden in cupboards or cabinets built by previous homeowners. Now that you know where your water meter is located, let's check for potential water leaks. Turn off all your faucets, ice maker, washing machine, shower, and anywhere water is used. If you have an analog meter, you will see a small red dial located on the bottom left of the water meter register. If the dial is not spinning, there is no water leak in your house. If the dial is spinning, there is likely a leak somewhere. If you have a digital water meter, you will see the LCD display on the meter register. Hold a flashlight over the meter and the LCD display will indicate numbers, liters of water consumed, and flow arrows. If the numbers do not increase, you have no water leak. If the numbers do increase, you likely have a leak somewhere. There are a number of areas where you may experience a water leak, but the most common location is your toilet. Most toilet leaks occur due to a worn out flapper seal. The rubber flapper located at the bottom of your toilet tank deteriorates over time and allows water to escape into your toilet bowl. A good way to check and see if your toilet tank has a leak is by conducting a dye test. Place a dye tablet into your toilet tank. Once the dye is in your toilet tank, wait 15 minutes without using the toilet. Then check the toilet bowl for the entrance of dye coloring. If there is no dye color in the bowl, you do not have a leaky toilet tank, and your water leak must be somewhere else in your home. If you find dye color in your toilet bowl, you have a leaking toilet tank, and probably should replace your flapper. Water production and delivery systems are expensive for the city to operate. These operating costs are passed along to all water consuming customers. Ensuring your home or business is not losing water through a leak in your private system will help to keep your water costs lower as well as helping the environment. For further information on water meters and household leaks, please contact the City of Greater Sudbury by phoning 311, check our website, or email us at sewerusebylaw at greatersudbury.ca.